Hi, how's it going? So thank you for coming. I'm gonna ask you a few questions and see what jobs would be good for you. Okay, great. What skills do you have? Tell me all of them. All of them? All of them. My ability to put myself in other people's shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Management, teamwork, leadership. Problem solving, adaptability. I'm very good with computers. Setting up networks. I was a flight planning supervisor. A sonar technician. You were in charge of making sure planes didn't crash? Yeah. That's important. Where did you learn how to be a sonar technician? In the Navy. Wow. Where did you acquire all these skills? I acquired most of them from the military. Oh, wow. I served eight years in the Marine Corps. Active duty in the Air Force for six years. That's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. We're called Green Berets because we wear a Green Beret. Yeah. It's like a slang term. It sounds cooler, too. It does. Do you have a job now? Uh, no, I don't. No. Do you have that job now? No, no, I don't. Why not? I applied for an aviation job and they said, so sorry, we don't need you. I applied for a fast food job and they said, you're too qualified. Dang. As a service member, I have so much experience. Why is it that nobody can see that? They look at our background and they think they just follow orders. A lot of people just think soldier and combat. We are so much more than that. It does seem a little strange that people wouldn't hire veterans. I'm trying to wrap my head around this and it just shocks me to believe that. I, I thought everyone's treated equally. I think I would definitely want you on my team because you were very important in your last job. I think you're great. Thank you. High five, Nick. If a veteran's applying for the job and they're qualified, I think it's important that they get considered for the job. Not be looked at in a different way just because they served our country. They have a lot of training and experience and they don't just fight. They are very talented and they deserve a job. People underestimate veterans. So if I can figure it out, why can't employers figure it out?